Hello, this is Gloria Braunschweig. I'm going to show you how to edit your customer IDs during a QuickBooks to Dynamics GP version 2013 migration using the Rapid Start tools. I've opened my QuickBooks company. I'm utilizing a virtual machine and I'm also going to start the Rapid Start migration tools and run as an administrator. In the first window, I set this to QuickBooks. I recommend reviewing the checklist for preparation. Then mark when you've completed those tasks. Navigate to Next, More Information to Review, Next. I'm going to log on to the SQL Server with Windows Authentication because I have logged in as an administrator. I'll go to Next. I'll choose my test company. I already have a profile name here, Defined Excel. You can name it anything that you want to. I've navigated down to my QuickBooks QBW file. I go to Next. I'm going to select to migrate master records and I choose Next. I have granted access to my QuickBooks database previously. So I'll go here to Preferences integrated applications and you'll see that the rapid migration tool has been marked and included already. I'll close this window that I opened. I'll go back to my tool and I'll choose to export. My export has successfully completed. That took about a minute and I'll go ahead and open it by clicking edit data and first I'll go to my customers. And I want to clean punctuation out of my customer number field. So I will use the replace statement. And the first thing I'll do is take out periods. I'll do a replace all. I'll remove commas. Again, replace all. I'll take out apostrophes and I'll remove spaces. Then I need to move to the customer addresses worksheet and I'll do the same thing there. So I'm removing spaces, apostrophes, commas, and periods. And I don't need to remove those. GP will handle them, but that's what I choose to do. And I'll go ahead and save that worksheet and close it. Now I'll be able to go next. It's indicating to me that it has not exported transactions. I'll go to next again. It wants me to confirm and format the account format. Uh, four characters in the first segment, one in the second segment. I'll go ahead and do next. It confirms that account format and I'll click next again. It's going to warn me that I have sub accounts. I'm just going to ignore that warning and say yes. And I'll go ahead and import. My import took about two minutes and I closed the rapid migration tool. And then I'll go ahead and start GP and we can go and take a look at those customer records that imported. My GP goes ahead and opens up. I'll go over to sales. I'll go into customers and now we can see that customer list and it's a clean list with no punctuation in it. This ends my demonstration of editing customer records with Rapid Start.